In this video, we are going to see how to respond to feedbacks automatically using OpenAI. So let's say that every time there is a form submission, here we have taken the example of a Google form, you can choose any form builder application. So every time there is a new form submission and you have received a feedback, now what do you want? You want that automatically a response should be generated for that particular feedback and a mail sh should be sent to the person. How would you do that? So as soon as you receive a response with the help of OpenAI, which is an artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps you in generating human-like content. So it would be able to generate a reply, a response to the feedback. And then finally, through Gmail, a mail should be sent to the person who has submitted the form. Now, how would you do that? For this, there has to be some integration between these applications. And the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Form and your action applications would be OpenAI and Gmail. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks so that you can easily explore the entire application. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. Here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. So I'm going to click on this. And now a dialog box has appeared, which is asking me to name this workflow. Here, my objective is that every time a form is filled through Google Forms and you have received the response. So what do you want? You want to auto generate a reply to that feedback that you have received. And then you want to share the feedback with the person who has filled up the form through Gmail. So I'm going to name it as automatically respond to feedback using OpenAI. Let's click on create. Now here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action says do this. Basically action is the response of your trigger application. Now my first trigger application as per this integration would be Google Forms. Let's click on this. And here the trigger event would be new response received. So every time I receive a new response through Google Forms submission, then this workflow is going to run. Now I have received this webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Google Forms. So now I'm going to click on this copy and here I have copied this webhook URL. Now we have to follow the following steps to set up a connection. And please take your time, read this properly. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, you have to open a Google form and I already have created this feedback form over here. Let me open this. Yeah. So I have got a new HR policy for, for which I need the feedback of all my employees. So this is the feedback form here. I've got the following fields, first name, last name, contact number, email address, department, and then we have feedback. Now, what do we have to do to set up the connection? First of all, we have to go to the last question. And here we have the required field. We are going to toggle this towards the right. We are going to turn it on. Why do we do this? We do this so that the moment this form is filled and the moment the person reaches the last field and it is filled, then automatically a response would be shared. Now you have to go to responses. And here we have got these three dots. We are going to click on this. Where do I want to receive my response? So I'm going to select the response destination over here. So either you can create a new spreadsheet or you can select an existing spreadsheet. So here I'm going to click on create. I want to get a new spreadsheet created. So here I'm going to click on this. And here you can see that I have got a new spreadsheet with all the fields that I've just inculcated in my form. So here we have first name, last name, contact number, email address, department and feedback. And we have one extra field, which is timestamp. Basically, this is going to record the time and date of the submission of the form. And once we have received this, I'm going to format the sheet so that it is absolutely clear and visible to you. 
so yeah this looks a lot better so once we are done with this i'm going to go back to the form and here i'm going to go to preview now here you can see that this is the form so let's fill the form it so the first name here is dummy then we have the last name which is user then we have the contact number which is nine and then we have the email address which is now the department so the department here let's say it is finance and then the feedback so here i'm going to write that i am highly satisfied with the new hr policy okay so let's say this is my feedback once done i'm going to click on submit so as soon as we do that here we can see that we have submitted the response and, and now i'm going to take you to my google sheet and here you can see that we have got my response over here so once i have received this response over here i'm going to set up a connection between my google sheet and pably connect for that i'm going to first go to extensions and here i'm going to go to add-ons then get add-ons so here we have reached google workspace marketplace and here i'm going to look for pably connect webhooks Let's click on this and here you can see that it has already been installed in my system. So first make sure that once you install this, you close this and then you have to refresh the page. This is extremely important. And once you have done that, we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to go back to extensions. So as you click on this, now you would be able to see Pably Connect webhooks. Here you have to go to initial setup. So here you can see that the sheet has already been selected. Now, as I take you to Pably Connect, the webhook URL that we had received here, I'm going to copy this, go back to my sheet and paste this over here. Then the trigger column. So this is the final data column on which the data is added. So this here would be column G for us. So I'm going to write G and let's click on send test. So as we do that here, we can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit. So once done here, we can see that the configuration is all set. I'm going to close this, go back to extensions, go back to public connect here. We have got a crucial step. We have to click on the send on event. Basically, this has to be checked. Why? Because every time we receive a response or we fill a form, then it is going to send the response only when the send on event has been checked. So once we do this, I'm going to take you back to Pably Connect to see if we have received the response. And yes, here you can see that this is the timestamp, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, last name, first name. And then we have the feedback, email address, department and contact number. Now, once we have received this, what is my objective? I want to generate a response for the feedback that I have received. For that, I'm going to use an artificial intelligence application, which is OpenAI. Here, let's click on this. And the action event here would be to generate content. Let's click on connect. So as we do that here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. I'm going to click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need this API key and we can receive the same but for this first we have to log into our OpenAI account and then we have to click on this hyperlink so i have already logged in so i'm going to directly click on this hyperlink and now here you can see create new secret key so i'm going to click on this tab and my api key has been generated let's copy this once done go back to public connect and i'm going to paste this over here so once done let's click on save to set up this connection so here we can see that Public Connect is now connected with OpenAI and now we are supposed to fill in this information. But before I do that, I'm going to take you to my OpenAI website. So this is my OpenAI website. And what is OpenAI? OpenAI is an extremely powerful artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps in creating human-like content. It can generate texts as well as images. So I'm going to click on this API. And as I do that here, it is saying that it, like we can build next generation apps with OpenAI's powerful models as it has the access of GPT-3, which performs a variety of natural language tasks, codecs, which translates natural language to code and which creates and edits original images. So this is an extremely intelligent and interesting application. Now here on the right hand side, you can see the tab login. I'm going to click on this. And once we log in here, we would reach the dashboard of this application. 
Here I am going to directly take you to this playground and as the name suggests, this is an extremely interesting space where creating or generating content is a piece of cake. Let me show you how. So let's say that I write, write a story on a board. So when I see write a story on a board and as I click on submit, then here you can see that automatically it has started generating a story. So this is definitely a boon for all the content creators over there. Here you can also customize the length of your story or the length of the content that you are generating. So I'm going to show you how. So first of all, if you will see here, so we have got different features. First is mode and then we have insert and then we have edit then we have got various models here and we usually go with text of nc003 why because it is the most capable model in the gpt3 series it can perform any task the other gpt3 models can it can process up to 4000 tokens per request so once this is selected then comes the temperature temperature controls randomness so as the temperature approaches zero which means that we are going to get repetitive content and when it approaches towards one or it goes towards one then we will get random responses then comes the maximum length this is what i was explaining you that here you can actually control the maximum number of tokens to generate so one can request and can use up to 2048 or 4000 tokens shared between prompt and completion now what is prompt i'm going to come back to that later now the exact limit of the tokens the number of tokens that you can use depends on the model that you're using and one token is roughly four characters for normal English text. Then comes the stop sequence. Stop, stop sequence is something that when applied, it will stop generating further tokens. So here, let's say the stop sequence is double backslash single hashtag. You can add your own stop sequence. Then we have the top P, then frequency penalty, which decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim, and presence penalty, which increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. And here comes the best of basically OpenAI can generate multiple completion server side and displays only the best. So here you can go up to generating 10 different responses and it is going to show you the best one. So once this is done, I'm going to show you what prompt is. So as I click on view code here, you can see this is our prompt. Prompt is basically this, write a story on a board for what we have just generated. Basically, it is the instruction that you provide. So what is prompt? It is the instruction that we provide. Okay. So once we have understood this, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we are going to first select the AI model, which is text of NC. And then we have the prompt. So here I'm going to write, write a response to the feedback received. Okay. And here I'm going to write my feedback. So what is my feedback? For this, I'm going to map this information. And how do I map? As I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step. I'm going to click on this. And as I scroll down, here is the feedback. So I'm going to click on this. So it has taken the feedback. Now I could have written this manually, but I did not do so. Why? Because if I had written it manually, then every time the workflow would have run, it would have only taken the manual written data and then it would have never inculcated the new data. So that is why mapping is important. So once we are done with this, now the maximum number of tokens of so since we are planning for a reply. So I'm going to select, let's say 40 characters and then select sampling type. So here you have two options, temperature sampling and nucleus sampling. So since we want random data every time, I'm going to select temperature sampling. Now the sampling value and frequency penalty and presence penalty. Now the values vary between 0 to 1 for sampling value, minus 2 to 2 for presence penalty and frequency penalty. So I'm going to leave this blank so that it can take the default value which is 0 0.7, 0 and 0. Now let's put the stop sequence. So it is double backslash single hashtag. And finally, how many responses do we need? Let's say I need two responses and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the API response. And if I show you this, so this is the text over here and it is written. Thank you for your feedback. We are pleased to hear that you are satisfied with the new HR policy. We are always looking for our ways to improve and ensure a positive working environment for our employees. So once this is there, now what do I want? 
I want a mail to be sent to the person. So my next action application would be Gmail. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to send email. Let's click on connect. So once this is done, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Gmail account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Gmail. So once this is done here, you can see that we are asked to choose the account. And here I have asked here I have chosen the account. And now it is asking me for some additional access to my Google account. So this is absolutely secure. I'm going to click on continue. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, what's our next objective? We are supposed to fill in this information and send a mail to the recipient. So first of all, we need the recipient's email address. I'm going to again map this information. How do I do this? First, I click on this. Go to step one. And as I scroll down, this is the email ID of the person. Once done, if you wish to add a carbon copy or BCC, you can always do that. And then we have sender's name. So this is going to be static. Why? Because this is sent to the company. So the name is going to remain the same. I'm going to here give an example of Pabli Connect. So once this is done, the email subjects are feedback received. And now the email content type, so it is plain. Now email content. So I'm going to write dear. Now I need the name of the person, first name. So for this, I'm going to go to step Google Forms. And this is the first name, which is dummy. So dear dummy. And then I'm going to press. So the moment I map this information, now what I want to do is I have already received the response on OpenAI. So I'm going to map the information here. So first, let's go to OpenAI. And this is the text. So once we have filled this text, now what do I want? I want that if I have certain file to be attached, then I should put the name of the file here and the attachments URL over here. So once done, let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see that you have received the response which says that the mail has been sent now. So let's check our email address. So here I'm going to take you to the email box. Let's quickly refresh the page once. And yes, here you can see, dear dummy, thank you for your feedback. We are pleased to hear that you're satisfied with our new HR policy. We are looking forward for many ways to improve and ensure a positive working environment for our company. So this here is the mail. Now, once we have received this, we can understand that our integration process is a success, but we also need to check this in real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the form here. I'm going to submit another response. Let's say the first name here is test. Last name is user. Then the contact number here is, and then we have the email address and now the department. So let's say the department here is marketing. And the feedback is that I am not okay with the new HR policy. Okay. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to click on submit. And here we can see that the form has been submitted, taking you to Google sheet. Yes, we have received the response here, which basically means that now with the help of OpenAI, it would have generated the content and then a mail should be sent to the person. So I'm going to take you back to my email address. And yes, here you have received another email, dear test, and this is the email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. So here, let's quickly check what we have done. So here our trigger application was Google Forms where the event was new response received. Then our action application is OpenAI where the event is generate content. And then the final action application was Gmail where the event was to send email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any particular integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.